In today's video, I'll be introducing you to Skype. So what is Skype? Skype is Microsoft's built-in software application that allows you to have a free live video chat with anyone in the world who also has the Skype software on their device, such as a smartphone, tablet, laptop, or desktop computer. Skype is available on Apple devices, but you have to download the free Skype app from the Apple App Store first. If you have an Android, Skype is already going to be installed on your device. If not, you can always go to the Google Play Store to download it on your Android device. For demonstration purposes, I will be using my PC laptop today. But before we get started, I wanted to share with you some important tips to ensure you have the best experience possible. The number one thing is to always keep the viewer in mind. You have to remember that at the other end of this conversation is another person. So make sure you speak slowly and clearly, be aware of your surroundings, any background noise, any background visuals that may be distracting. Think about the lighting. How well is your face lit? And remember to maintain eye contact. It's very easy to look at the screen when you're speaking to the person, but if you want to um, have true eye contact with that person at the other end, make sure you look into the camera and not the screen. Be mindful of what you're wearing. Be mindful of the camera angle. Be mindful to make sure you hold the device still. If possible, prop the smartphone or tablet on a surface like a table or a shelf for stability. Built-in cameras are part of all smartphones and tablets. And most of them are going to have both a front and rear camera. They have built-in speakers, they have built-in microphones, but if you want better quality, you may want to consider attaching an external microphone or headphone for better input and output quality of sound. Now that we've wrapped up the tips, let's get started. Okay, as you can see, we are now on my PC desktop computer. And to get to Skype, there are two ways. Uh, on my computer, I have the Skype icon right down on my taskbar. But if you don't, you simply go to your Start button in the lower left-hand corner, give that a click, and you'll find the Skype tile uh, in this section. So you just click on Skype. Okay, the next screen that comes up ask you to sign in to your account or create an account. Uh, chances are you already have a Microsoft account. If you don't, you can create one or you can sign in. Since I already have one, I'm just going to simply click on sign in. I'm going to type in the email address associated with my account. Hit next type in my password hit sign in okay there's my profile image I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and I can go through all these if I want. Um, you can hit continue and test your microphone and speakers and all that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go right up here and click on skip and skip and hit okay. Okay, the next window that pops up is your Skype homepage. And as you can see on the left-hand side, there are a list of people that you have had a Skype chat with in the past, um, but we don't want to uh, chat with any of these folks today. So instead, I'm going to go right up here to my search bar, and I'm going to click there, 
and I'm going to type in the name, the Skype name of the person that I want to Skype with. Now, it's important that you, you have to know the person's Skype name in order to have a Skype chat with them. If you don't know the name, uh, just you know, call them on the phone or, or send them an email to find out what their name is. So this is the name of my friend Mary. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in, hit my enter key, and there we go. So I'm going to see if she's, if she's there. I can send her a little wave. So I'm going to click on wave, and see if she's available. And if she is, we should see her name pop up over here. Yep, it says Mary CD is typing. And I'm just going to type her a quick message. Okay, here. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to hit that blue button, and that will send this little text message. So we can go back and forth texting here, but we want to do an actual Skype video chat. So in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see these different icons. And for a video chat, I'm going to tap on this little video call. It's going to activate my camera. There you can see me. And there's Mary. Hi, Hi Mary. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for joining me today and helping me with the demo. Um, uh -huh. Just sit tight here. I just want to show the folks a few things on the screen that they're looking at. So you can see in the upper right hand corner is a little screen of me. So this is what Mary sees. And I want to make sure that my background isn't too busy, that I'm well lit in the front here, so she, um, she can see me nice and clear. And you'll also see along the bottom here, I've got a red button that I can hang up the call. I can turn off the video screen if I want. And I can also mute the call as well. Um, those are your basic fun uh, functions for Skype. Uh, but Mary, tell the folks a little bit about how you use Skype. I know you've got family uh, that lives out of state. Just uh, briefly tell the folks how you use Skype. I do. I have a daughter in Florida, and she has a little boy. He's going to be uh, two months this week, and um, it's really nice to be able to video with her because I can't go there. Um, you know, on a dime. And then I have another one in Buffalo. So she's about two hours away. And I also, we Skype with her a lot. So I can see her. That's so wonderful. Nice. That's, yeah. that's great. So what's nice about Skype is that you get to, even though your, your family, you know, parts of your family live far away, you can, you can get on Skype every day if you wanted to, or once a week, however often you want. It is. It's great because I can't just pick up on a dime and leave. And this is so convenient. And I love it. My husband and I see him like every day. That's every day. wonderful. That's great. Okay. Well, I won't keep you too much longer here. So um, thanks so much for, for joining us and helping me with this demo. And um, I can't wait to see you soon. Okay. See you later. Bye -bye. All right. Bye-bye. So I hit this red button and the call has been ended. And there you go. That's pretty much um, how you use Skype to make a video call. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new and best wishes. Before I wrap up today's video, I would like to tell you about the wonderful folks over at Lifespan. Lifespan provides information, guidance, and more than 30 services for older adults and their caregivers in the Rochester, New York, and Monroe County area. If you are over 60 and have questions, concerns, or need assistance, please call Lifespan at 585-244-8400 or visit their website, lifespan-roch.org. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need more information on group or private in-home instruction, please visit my website at danielteaches.com or you can call me at 585 902-8450 or email me at daniel at danielteaches.com.